Good morning. How are we doing today? My name is James Sweeney, aka Split Suit. Welcome back to another video. And today we're going to answer a question sent in by Jane. And this is a very basic math question, but it's one that's very important and it's one that you need to fully understand to kind of grasp some of the more advanced stuff that we talk about in some of these videos. So the question from Jane is the following. If I bet half pot on a river bluff and villain folds 33% of the time, I win the pot. Why is that break even or zero EV? So Jane, rest assured that you are not the only person that has this kind of question. I know poker math can seem a little bit confusing at first, but I promise you, once you get it, it'll help you a ton not only on the table, but also off the felt as well. So I totally get your question. If we bluff and it wins a third of the time, well, we're clearly winning the pot some percentage of the time, so how could that possibly be zero EV? How could that possibly be break even? I totally get you. Don't worry, we'll explain it in a moment. And we really just need two pieces of information for this. One is the break even percentage formula, which is is very, very basic. And the other is the EV formula. And we're just going to use the basic one. We don't need advanced math for this because we're talking about a river spot. So I'm a very visual learner. I don't know about you. So I'm going to spend a quick moment. We're going to go into Excel, use a quick spreadsheet. And it'll kind of help you visualize this, show you what's going on, and hopefully help you understand this. Because once you get it, trust me, it's going to be useful in every single session you play for the rest of your poker career. So let's make sure we get it down pat. All right, so per the original question, we are betting half pot on the river, and we think that our opponent is going to fold one third of the time. And why is this zero EV or break even? So let's start by filling in a couple of very basic numbers. So the pot size on the river, let's just say it's an $800 pot. And if we're betting half pot, that's 400 bucks, nice and simple. And at this point, we think that our opponent is going to fold one third of the time. Well, just bear with me for one second when we work through the break even formula. So the break-even formula, and this is pretty much where the question stems from, the break-even formula is risk divided by risk plus reward. So our $400 is our risk, the pot is the reward, 400 divided by 400 plus 800 or 1200 equals one third, right? So if our opponent is actually folding one third of the time, then this should be zero EV. So if we were to go here equals one divided by three, automatically fills the other side and here we are we see it's exactly zero ev right there and this makes sense because if we think about the ev formula the ev formula is the percentage you win times how much you win minus the percentage you lose times how much you lose so in this situation 33 percent of the time we're thinking that we're going to pick up the pot uncontested right for all the times the villain folds we pick up that 800 bucks we think that happens a third of the time and that's going to net us 266 bucks and 67 cents cool and then when we bet and again we're bluffing in this situation so when we bluff and our opponent doesn't fold which is going to happen two-thirds of the time and how much do we lose in that situation where well, we lose our four hundred dollar bet right we don't lose what's in the middle that's already that belongs to the pot that's only what we can go after when we're on the win side of the equation but when we're bluffing and we lose we're just losing our bet which is a four hundred dollar bet so we're losing four hundred bucks 67 percent of the time and that's negative 266 67 add those both up and we get exactly zero dollars which shows us that everything works out exactly right we are risking half pot we think our opponent is going to fold one third of the time our bet is exactly break even now of course if we thought our opponent was folding more often or if our bet size were different these numbers can shift very very quickly right if we thought that our opponent was actually going to fold 45 percent of the time against our bet all things static otherwise Notice that's very, very positive, right? Plus 140 bucks. If we thought our opponent was only going to fold, say, 10% of the time, now all of a sudden we see that's very negative. But if this equals one third of the time, like the original question was, we see that it is exactly zero EV or break even. So hopefully this is all starting to make a little bit more sense. I know at first glance, poker math can seem a little bit scary, but once you wrap your head around the very basic underlying principles, the basic formulas, this stuff becomes very, very simple. And the more you practice with it off table, the more deep into your poker brain it's gonna be, and the more easily you're gonna be able to use it in real time. And it doesn't matter whether you're trying to add extra plays to your pre-flop playbook or your post-flop playbook. At the end of the day, this is the kind of underlying math that you need to understand, and it's gonna help you add more plus EV plays and also delete negative EV plays that are costing you money at the end of the day.
So if you're looking to go a step further here, whether it be on the math side of things and understanding that more deeply or the playbook side of things and really adding more profitable things to your game, I would definitely suggest checking out Core from Red Chip Poker. This complete A to Z course is everything you need to really build a strong foundation. One of the major things that frustrates students when it comes to learning this game is that there's not really a strong syllabus out there. There's not a strong follow this path, understand these things in this order, and you'll get where you need to go significantly faster. Core is the exact answer to that. We spent a lot of time really fleshing this thing out, making sure that everything is built in order so you don't have to ask, what do I need to learn next? Or what did I need to learn before this to understand this concept? Everything is done for you. There are quizzes, there are achievements, there's tons of lessons, everything you need to really make sure that you have a strong foundation in this game, a nice strong core, so that way you can actually build a profitable poker strategy that's all your own. And the best part is, Core doesn't cost an arm and a leg. In fact, it's only five bucks a week. So even if you have a micro bankroll, there's no excuse not to get started because even a micro bankroll can get a great ROI with Core. Just visit splitsuit.com slash core to get taken right there or I'll leave a link in the description box down below. Hope you enjoy it, hope you check it out, and I really hope it helps you bring your game to exactly where you want it to be. And that is gonna wrap it up for this video. Jane, thank you so much for asking this question and hopefully this video helps a ton. And if you or anyone else has a poker related hand or question, you could always send it to me directly at splitsuit.com slash ask. And of course, if you have any questions on this video, just leave a comment down below. As always, if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing, I would massively appreciate it. And of course, as always, good luck out there and happy grinding. Make sure there's no leaks in your basic foundation, right? Any house that has a foundation in the leak.